Hello everyone, welcome back to Tector.com. Today in this lecture we will study join operation. So it is one of the important relational algebraic operation and at the same time it is most confusing among the all operations. So in this lecture we will make sure that you are well confident about join operation. Well, so let's get started with the definition. What is join operation? Basically, join as name suggests, join operation is used to join two relations. Okay, they join two relations, fine, and that's why we call it join operation. Okay, so we have already studied cross product and they also join two relations. Then, what is the difference we need to understand? So, basically, join operation is equivalent to the cross product followed by select operation okay so let's write it down so the definition says join operation combines tuples from two relations two relations provided that they satisfy some specified condition right and what we call this condition we call this condition as join condition so these condition are named as join condition join condition now let's understand the type of join operation okay so first of all we divide join operation in two categories that is inner join and outer join so what is inner join so in inner join the result or the outcome of join contains only the matching tuples. So the outcome okay, or the result resulting tuple contains only the matching tuple. matching tuple okay while in outer join in case of outer join the result will contain all the columns from I mean all the rows from one of the relation or either both of the relation okay so if let's say R1 and R2 are participating into the join then what will happen depending upon the condition or the condition you specify or the kind of join you choose either all the tuples from R1 will be present or all the tuples from R2 will be present or all the, all the tuples from both the relation will be present okay so this is what happens in outer join but in case of inner join only the matching tuples only the tuples who satisfy the condition are present okay so this inner join can be divided into three kinds okay so depending upon the joining condition we divide it into three types so what are they they are basically theta join then equi join and then natural join similarly outer join are also divided into three parts or three kind so basically there are three, three types and they are left outer okay then right outer and then full outer okay so now we will understand each of these uh, kind of joins in detail okay so let's start with theta join 